Okay. Um, some hadith that are mawdu' but, but have sound meaning and actually are attributed to other people correctly but are not prophetic statements. Um, he who knows himself, man arafa nafsahu arafa, or man arafa nafsahu arafa rabbah. The one who knows himself knows his Lord. Very common statement. It's not prophetic. It's not the Prophet ﷺ statement. It's actually the statement of Yahya ibn Mu'adh al-Razi. Okay? But the scholars of hadith will say, هذا hadith mawdu. This is a mawdu hadith. Does that make sense? So this is actually quite important. There is reality to that statement. It's actually properly attributed to one of the salaf. But it's not the Prophet ﷺ statement. Similarly, la uh, adri is nisful al-ilm. Or la a'lam, la adri nisful al-ilm. That I do not know. Saying this, I do not know, is half of knowledge. This is the statement of Imam al-Sha'bi, one of the great muhaddithin. That it's not the Prophet ﷺ statement. And it's true, right? It's truth to that statement. Seek knowledge if even to China. I'm sure everyone's heard that one. No? Yes? Forgery. Um, most scholars use this as like one of the first examples of forgeries, right? Although it's one of the most popular forgeries in the, um, most of the, even the very short works of hadith and hadith sciences, it's like the, the, the example that's given, okay, of a forgery. Now the meaning is sound, right? That the Prophet ﷺ through many hadith statements, he highly encouraged knowledge and traveling for the sake of knowledge. Um, but this statement is not the Prophet ﷺ. Um, I could not find actually um, um, anyone who was able to identify the original source of this statement. Love the Arabs for three reasons. Because I am Arab, I am Arab, and the Quran is Arab, and the word of the Jannah is Arab. I love the Arab for three reasons. This is actually also not, uh, it's, it's, it's baseless. In other words, لا أصل له. They could not find any sanad for it. The meaning is technically justifiable, right? There's truth to these these three things. The Prophet was Arab. The Quran was in Arabic, and it is uh, uh, proven through other narrations that the Kalam of Ahl Jannah will be Arabic. Although I think that's somewhat contentious. But the statement together, this is not not true, uh, or not not a hadith. Don't look at who said it, but what he said. This is a statement of Ali radiAllahu anhu. And if the scholars are not the awliya of Allah, then Allah has no wali. Right? This is a statement of both Imam Abu Hanifa. It's also attributed to Imam Shafi'i, but not the Prophet. Okay? So here we have to be very precautious. We have to be very careful uh, not to outright deny the meaning in addition to the attribution. So why we should be careful about attributing this statement to the Prophet, if someone uses the statement like this, one cannot jump to declare it to be false because the meaning might be true. And it might be a statement of someone like Ali radiallahu anhu. Okay. So uh, having said this, I'll, I'll stop with this inshallah ta'ala.